What is up, YouTube? It's Lions Fan Express coming at you with that man to man press. And shout out to all the Detroit Lions players that made the Pro Bowl this year. Uh, shout out to Frank Ragnow, Panay Sewell, Sam Laporta, Aiden Hutchinson, and special teams ace Jalen Reeves Maven. Uh, shout out to you guys and everyone who voted for them. But there's one Detroit Lions player missing from this list. And the real question is was Amon Ross St. Brown snubbed from the Pro Bowl? Now, before I even get into it, let's hear from St. Brown himself. So this is a direct quote from St. Brown when he's asked about the Pro Bowl. He said, the receivers that got picked, they're great players, but I was hot. Now, St. Brown is a first alternate in case um, somebody can't go like via Super Bowl or injury. But he didn't make the cut. There was four spots and he got voted in as fifth best. And let's take a look at who was picked ahead of him compare stats and i'll give you guys my little opinion on it at the end so starting off with cd lamb um he had 122 receptions 165 uh yards uh receiving and 10 touchdowns i mean leading the league in almost every category that's pretty solid in my opinion uh no no uh argument whatsoever there i mean he put up two over 200 yards on us for a reason he's one of the best receivers in the game right now um, so shout out to CD, uh, CD Lamb. Um, next up is AJ Brown. He had 105 receiving yards, um, over 1,400 uh, receiving yards, and seven touchdowns. So a little low on the receptions, but still had a, quite a bit of receiving yards and touchdowns as well. Um, number three was Mike Evans. He had 76 rece uh, receptions, 1,200 receiving yards, and 13 touchdowns. Um, yeah, and uh, number four was Puka Nakua, who had uh, 101 receptions, 1,400 receiving yards, and five touchdowns. Now, those are all really good numbers, but when you take a, a look at uh, Amara St. Brown's stats, um, he had 112 receptions, 1,300, almost 1,400 receiving yards, and nine touchdowns. Now, when you compare that to the others, um, he had more receptions than A.J. Brown, he had more receiving yards than Mike Evans, and he had more touchdowns than Puka Nakua. So in my opinion, when you compare all these stats, just from a statistical standpoint, yeah, Amara, Amonra was definitely snubbed. Um, it makes it really difficult when there's only four spots. And, you know, I don't think any of us were really predicting uh, Puka to come out like he did and have an amazing rookie year. Um, so I think that really played a role in it as well but in my opinion fan voting has really destroyed the value of pro bowls um it's, it's just a popularity contest you know it's not even like how it used to be back in the day when they used to play it you know in hawaii and it was not an, an actual game um you could actually tackle people <laughs> um it was a fun weekend um but now it's just it's just a it's just a weekend of games um flag football and, and honestly, the players, you know, they receive a bonus check for being there. Um, so I, I, I get why St. Brown is heated. You know, he's, he's feeling disrespected. Um, but I'm okay with St. Brown not making it. Um, because to me, that's just another chip on his shoulder. I mean, this guy, this guy's been counted out time and time again. Even, you know, coming out of the draft, he, uh, you know, that's a guy who can name 14 receivers selected ahead of him in the draft. You know, if you don't think that this is going to, you know, motivate him even more to continue to play well and show, you know, everyone, you know, what he can do. Um, I'm, I, you know, I'm excited to have, you know, angry Amon Ross St. Brown for the playoffs. So um, he's definitely a dangerous, <laughs> he's a dangerous receiver. And I think he's definitely going to make people, um, you know, think twice about, you know, um, voting for him next time. Uh, and overlooking him um, this year but with that being said that's just my opinion on it I mean again I'm glad that the players that we did have made the Pro Bowl but um, really where it's at when you want to look at like accomplishments um, that aren't really biased because the fan voting makes up 33 percent of the voting along with coaching and like I think other players as well so all pros those are really um, they're not as uh, what's the word um, diluted with you know bias and and fan voting and popularity that's more of a concrete standard of 
you know, who is the best player at each position are all pros versus, you know, Pro Bowls. Um, and those are going to be coming up, I believe, after the season. So uh, really looking forward to see Amon Ross St. Brown being named an all pro this year. But um, we'll just have to wait and see. So with that being said, I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, comment down below if you think Amon Ross St. Brown got snubbed from the Pro Bowl. What's your thoughts and opinions on the Pro Bowl? And uh, yeah, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Lions fans, stay hungry.